Thank you for being here. And you guys are the meeting chairs for this conference. It's looking great. A lot of great feedback. How are you guys feeling about it? It's, it's great. I mean, there was so much excitement about, you know, having a physical meeting um, on site, you know, and MRS, I think, is one of the first big conferences which is fully open. So the community was really excited. You know, we were really excited and having the meeting go underway um, smoothly and the sessions are in full full swing it's, yeah. it feels great you know, a lot and of... being in hawaii is oh. uh, is just you know really That's amazing right. yeah i'm sure that contributed to the turnout definitely <laughs> there's a couple of things so the, the, the turnout i mean hawaii of course is is a really amazing place and and the meeting has a symposia with the uh, korean mrs society the japanese mrs society so that's brought in a lot of uh, pakrim uh, people but also you know because of covid we couldn't travel so there was lots of money that was in the bank the travel funds you know so 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 that uh, that helped as well yeah. yeah this is hard work i mean you guys spent how many years organizing this at least 2 years uh, and actually we got a record number of uh, symposia uh, proposals submitted uh, you know, people all wanted to organize and yeah, I was I was looking at all the different topics. Um, it's very competitive to actually be on the program, too. Right. How did you come up with the ideas and were these really the key trends of the industry? So the way the way it works is that that, um, you know, about 18 months, two years before the meeting, um, different academics from around the world will propose symposia right. topics. Uh, and so our job was made uh, very difficult because we had so many uh, symposia proposals that, uh, and, and you know, we're limited in space, right? Uh, there's only so many talks that the convention center and surrounding hotels can hold. Um, and so we had to, you know, uh, make tough decisions on which ones to uh, invite for uh, the symposia and which ones to reject. But the topics that we've chosen are really topics that are very current, you know, very relevant for both uh, academic research as well as industrial research. And I think that we also have a couple of symposia related to Hawaii and, and issues uh, and challenges related to, to you know, being an island uh, and, and, and energy supply yeah. for the island and all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Which ones were you excited about, about seeing? Oh and so we have a really strong uh, quantum technology uh, set of symposia that was one of the topical groups so, you know it's been a growing trend and uh, this year I think at Spring MRS we have the largest number of quantum related symposia that we've ever had in MRS um, and of course energy materials as uh, Nish was just mentioning you know that's been uh, a trend that's very important there's a lot of uh, interest investment and people want to see how it all comes together and of course material science has a big role right and and that's a uh, you, you walk around and see some of the symposia. Those are packed rooms because yeah. you know students want to work on it. Students are excited about the you know, ways that they can contribute. Think about energy technologies, quantum technologies, and you know those rooms. You see everyone just listening, like what's going on? How can I, you know, engage in this topic? And that's been that's been good for us to see because um, you know past few months it was all on paper, creating these topical groups. It felt very abstract. But walking around, you really feel the energy. Yeah, and I, talking to a lot of the people, they are very excited about the topics that you guys chose. I think the energy is there. Um, like when you go around, are you seeing really just how important it is to collaborate in person? And you guys, this is of course a volunteer effort. You had to invest a lot of your own personal time. I'm sure it was fulfilling, but what advice would you give to people, you know, who are maybe looking to do something that you know, to organize and do something like you did. It's a very rewarding experience and I'd strongly encourage people to, you know, think about being an organizer, starting to you know, put together a symposia and eventually also being a meeting chair. You know, it's um, a way to, to shape what the community will focus on for the next years. You, know, you see students, they're incoming students, first year graduate students. This is probably their first conference. Um, a lot of students that I, I bumped into said, oh, this is my first talk. Or, you know, if they started as a grad student during COVID, like, this is my first in-person talk. And I think that, you know, knowing that we've had an impact on their research trajectory, that's just very rewarding. Well, congratulations, you guys. It's great work. I think um, it's been a success so far. So wishing you all the best. Great. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.